welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Katie and today I want to talk about making time for your art. So back in August I finished a year long daily art challenge and since then I've really found I'm not prioritising creating and so I've worked out that I really need to make it a focus in my day and I need to set time aside to actually create otherwise I just won't do it. Sadly it gets to the bottom of my list and all my other work tasks get pushed forward. So on particularly busy days when I'm working at the computer, I find that setting aside either five or 10 minutes is enough to just create. There's a lot of threads in my sketchbook that are filled with panels because I find those the most easy to fill. And you could definitely draw some panels and then just fill them when you do have time. So even if you put four panels on a page and only have five or 10 minutes per day, you could fill that throughout the week. And I just find it really important to set aside some time to create, otherwise it won't get done. And I do find it massively improves my mental health when I do make the time to create the art. So I'm going to show you an example of a 10 minute panel spread in my sketchbook today. Work has been extremely busy for me lately, so you'll see I've also filled the spread with some 4.5 minute sketches. But I just want to encourage you that you don't need a huge amount of time to create. And if you're waiting for the perfect moment to sit down and paint, then sometimes it's easier to work your way up to that and spend five minutes creating each day and then when you do have time, either on the weekend or when you have no plans, then you can create. And I find that building that momentum makes it a little bit more easy as well and eases the pressure. So I hope you enjoy watching this video and we'll get straight into creating. So welcome to my very messy desk. I've got this spread open, it's very dirty and messy, but this is a working sketchbook. I've already worked on the other side so you can see some of the paint seeped through. But this is just a spread where I was experimenting. So this was last week when I didn't have much time to paint or create at all. So it links in nicely with this video because these two panels only took four and a half minutes each. So where I was really busy at the computer, I just grabbed this sketchbook and just took five minutes to create. Today I'm going a little bit longer and doing a 10 minute panel, but I thought that I would just show you the process in real time. I've already marked out my panel, which is a good way to sort of combat the fear of the blank page, and I've got my reference ready. I'm using gouache because it dries really quickly. You can use acrylic or acrylic inks, which is a medium I've been really enjoying lately, but it does take longer to dry. So if you're on a timer, then I recommend something quicker like gouache or even using brush pens. They're really helpful for quick timed work. I've got all my materials out ready, so I've put down my little swatches. I've got quite a lot of materials here on the desk, including coloured pencils and near colour 2 pastels. But if you're not used to drawing quick, then it does help to just have, say, five colours out, or a really limited colour palette to limit your choices. And that makes it a lot easier when you are under pressure. So I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes now, and we'll just get going. So I'm really into the uh, like nature references at the moment. I've got a reference up of this um, blackberry bush and then a snail underneath. And as you've seen in a lot of my work, I do use my gouache quite watery, but it means I can be quite imprecise, which works really nicely on a timer. I think one of the things that takes the most amount of time is deciding what to draw and that's usually the thing that stops me from just getting on and creating is I don't know what to draw and I usually try and find like the perfect reference or you know a reference that's really speaking to me but that doesn't always happen and I think that that mindset is what stops us from creating because we have to find the perfect reference or the one that we want to draw that day. Whereas actually you can draw anything and make it work. And it's also a really good test on like your style and finding uh, maybe references that you wouldn't normally pick and um, maybe creating something that you actually really like and unexpectedly as well. So I'm just putting in the brambles here, um, the blackberries. I haven't put a blue out, so I'll probably um, add blue with my coloured pencils. Uh, we've got a snail down here which I want to add. 
Um, obviously, I found this really helpful limiting my time and um, my options when I was doing the daily art challenge, which I finished in August. And I think what was helpful for me was changing my mindset. In the first few months, I really struggled um, because I set really high expectations on myself. And by the end of it, I was a lot more uh, carefree with it and sort of just really did just lean into the experiments and the process of it. Um, I think in the beginning I wanted to create really good artwork that was really, you know, pushing my limits and on an everyday challenge and if you are trying to make time for your art, you don't need to do that. It's a lot easier to just, um, you know, have set aside 10 minutes than have this big grand plan in your head that you're going to create this amazing piece of artwork. Whereas actually the 10 minute work actually um, helps a lot more than you think. And a lot of that, when you do then have time um, to create something good, is because of that quick 10 minute work. So just making time um, for like five, 10 minutes a day is better than waiting for the perfect time to create. Um, and that's definitely something that I found with the daily art. And one of the things I've noticed since I stopped doing the daily art challenge is that I haven't been prioritising my artwork, which is why I wanted to create this video, because you have to make time for your artwork. You um, you have to prioritise that way, you just won't do it. Um, that's certainly what I found. And so if you're really busy and you're finding you're not creating, then change your um, parameters and just do it for 10 minutes a day. You'll actually be surprised at how quick you get with painting and it will be really difficult at first, um, but I do find it really rewarding. So let's see how long we've got. I've got 5 minutes 45 left, so I'm just putting in some of the uh, background shapes. And this, it will be really messy. So you really do have to accept that it won't be amazing pieces of work, but it's also a really nice way to experiment because there is a lot less pressure on yourself. And I find that can be really interesting, um, just lowering the expectations on what you actually do create simply because of that. So I'm hoping to neaten this up um, when I do come in with the colored pencils. Because at the moment it does look extremely messy. Um, but as always, the details layer can massively change things. I'm not being super neat. I am sort of rushing um, at this point because I do want to get onto the details layer. So I'm not filling in every single uh, blank space on this piece. So like, there's a lot of gaps here. And I've really enjoyed putting a bit more purple tone into my work lately. And especially with the green, I think it works really nicely. Okay, so there's the very messy base layer. And although it is still wet, I'm going to come in with some coloured pencils and just work over the top, just to neaten up some of these shapes. Go with a darker brown. I think one of the things that's really good um, with limiting your time as well is you don't have time to think, and I think that's where your style and your developments really show because you're not worried about it because you don't have time to be. Um, so if you are not sure what your style is, then maybe try something like this and it will show what your natural style is. I keep grabbing this blue, but like little um, mistakes like that can sometimes really work. Even though if I had more time, I would have taken more longer to reach for the right colour. But yes, um, not having the time to um, grab the right materials can lead to really interesting um, mistakes, which you can then use in your bigger work when you do have more time. This is still very messy. Um, I'm going to come in with my Nia colours now. And 
And like I said at the beginning, you can put your uh, materials out beforehand and that definitely helps when you're grabbing things and under a time limit. I always love adding texture with the colour pencils. We have 2 minutes 23 left. I have picked quite a tricky reference, um, but if you're starting out or if you want to take things a little bit less frantic, then definitely choose a simpler reference. Um, it's also a really good exercise in learning what to include and what to not include. So down here on the reference there's a lot of um, like, uh, twigs and things on the ground which I'm not putting in. I don't need to put them all in to show that this snail is on the ground, so I haven't. It's a really good way on learning what's important to include in the photo, uh, in your painting, and what not. So you kind of have to work it out as you go because you don't have time to think about it beforehand, but I think that's a really good exercise to do anyway. So I'm just going to add on some blue tones in these blackberries. And like these are not the best blackberries in the world, but I think you can tell what they are just by these little marks. And you're not going to create the most amazing masterpieces, but you are creating, and I think that's what it's all about. It still feels really good to put 10 minutes aside and create something in your sketchbook, even if you're not going to show it to anyone, it doesn't matter. It's nice to just be creative, and I always think I don't have time, but when I do put aside 10 minutes, I feel so much better afterwards. So now I'm in the last ooh, 40 seconds, I'm just going to neaten up some of these things. It's not really much time to do anything, so I'm just going to add a few marks here and there. I mean it is very messy and rough. Put some nice textures in here, because I've worked over the uh, wet on wet materials. Okay, there we go. So that's our 10 minute timer up. And this is how it looks. You can see a little bit better in the close up that um, the snail blended in with this ground colour a bit too much. But I really like the blue outlines there. Like you saw that wasn't intentional. I just picked up the wrong pencil, but I think that works really nicely. And then up here, there's a lot less detail, but um, you don't really need it up there. You've got the main elements, which is the leaves and the blackberries and the snail. So those were the three elements that I knew I wanted to include that are in the reference picture. So it doesn't matter that there's not much up here because uh, that's just like the background, it kind of is like out of focus. It is messy but there's a lot of texture there and I think it finishes off the spread really nicely. So I'm just going to add on the time down here, I find that really helpful when I'm looking back. So I hope that's inspired you to create even if you do have just really small pockets of time, just taking five or ten minutes to grab your paints or your sketchbook and creating it really helps mentally and I hope that this video inspires you. So I really hope you enjoyed this one and I hope that it encourages you to get your sketchbook out even if it's just for a short amount of time. And you don't have to create final artwork as you saw that was a very quick and messy spread but you can also just grab some paints and do some swatches or play with colours. It really doesn't have to be a final thing just to be creative but I do find it massively helps. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week with a new video. See you later! Thank you.